Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Systems. I am Engineer Abdur Rahman and in this video we will discuss about riser diagram of building management system. A riser diagram provides an overall picture of the BMS system. It shows DGP locations of all the DGPs installed in a building. It also shows equipment connected to the DGP and it also provides us complete information about the network connection of all these DGPs. This is riser diagram of one of my project which I executed. We will go through this riser diagram in detail so that you will have the clear idea what is a riser diagram, what information it contains and also you can build one riser diagram for your project if you have knowledge about the AutoCAD. So let's start with the basement. In basement we have a BMS workstation installed here and along with it we have a data switch for the network. This is the main data switch where all IP backnet IP cables from the DGPs are connected. For small buildings you may have a separate network installed for the uh, BMS but in large building mostly BMS is uh, connected to the existing IP network and the IT team provides us a separate VLAN for connection of BMS. In this building we had a separate network for the BMS so that's why this data switch is installed and CAT6 and fiber optic cables from the DGPs are connected to this network and then this data switch is connected to the BMS workstation where we can see all the graphics and uh, we can manage uh, our complete system from this BMS workstation. So here as you can see we have CAT6 cables and fiber optic cables. As you know that CAT6 cable can go up to distance of 90 meters only. So for the DDCs which were at the uh, like uh, far locations we pulled fiber optic cables for those DGPs. So now let's have a look at uh, DGP1. This is uh, here is the location for this DGP1. It is in ground floor and part A south. So let's have a look at in details. So as you can see here this DGP1 contain we have written here Excel Web 2. This Excel Web 2 it is a DDC controller from Honeywell. So we have shown uh, here the D, uh, this model number to uh, like identify that this DGP contains a DDC web controller. While in some DGPs for example you can see here in DGP3 there it is not written. It means that this panel does not contain a DDC controller, it contains only the IO modules and this is a slave panel. While the panel which have this DDC controller, it will be a master panel. So slave panel is connected to the master panel using a, a communication cable which can be lawn works uh, if you, uh, your system is based on the lawn. But in my scenario, it is a panel bus communication. I will show you that in detail also. So here this is the location for this uh, DGP panel. It is a mechanical room where this DGP panel is installed and then we have the equipments connected to this DGP. This is the detail for the equipments connected to this DGP. First of all we have two AHUs and here we have uh, shown the locations of these AHUs. One is in the toilet uh, above the uh, ceiling and one is in this mechanical room. And then we have, you can see here FCUs. We have 16 FCUs connected here, which are serving these locations like computer labs. In this project, uh, the FCUs were only monitored by their standalone controllers and we were only monitoring their status from the thermostat, uh, the power on and off status. Then we have BCUs. BCUs are similar to FCUs, but these are blower coil units, which are large in size. And then we have split units installed, uh, we are monitoring this uh, status from this split unit and then exhaust fan and lighting is connected to this uh, DGP. And as you may notice and here we have this information about the cables uh, connected uh, from this uh, equipment to the DDC. Here we have mentioned the uh, number of cables and the type of cables. This information is optional and uh, maybe your project may have or not. So, but it is like uh, additional information and better to have it. Then after DGP1, let's go to DGP2, okay. For DGP2 here, it is located in mechanical room G07J. 
this is the location of this DGP and it is now available in part A north of this ground floor. Uh, here we have mentioned this uh, which in which part this DGP is located. So yes, from here in DG, from DGP1 as you can see one CAT6 cable is going to this data switch. This is to connect this DDC controller to the uh, BMS network uh, for the BACnet IP communication. Similar to the DGP2, uh, one CAT6 cable is connected. And now you can see here DGP3, it does not have any DDC controller like it only have the IO modules and it is connected to the DGP2 using uh, one cable uh, for panel bus communication. This is a two core shielded cable for panel bus communication. It communicates over RS485. So this is a, a proprietary control from Honeywell uh, which is being used for communication between its DDC, DDC controller and its IO modules. Similarly, you can see that DGP1 is connected to DGP4 using the same panel bus communication and DGP4 is also a slave uh, panel. So same we have here information about the equipment connected to the DG, all the DGPs. As you can see here, this is the information about DGP3 uh, equipment and then this is detail about the DGP4 uh, equipment. And then here we have, as you can see here, we have an additional uh, like workstation. This is for I here mentioned it for uh, lighting control. This we provided only uh, to give lighting control at this reception and uh, we provided uh, only limited access to them for the lighting control uh, access only so that they can turn on and off the lights and they will have the information about the lights. Then here comes the first floor. In first floor we have DGP5. This is uh, now you uh, can know that this is a master panel with the DDC controller and DGP6 is its uh, slave panel with the panel bus communication okay and then one CAT6 cable is going from DGP5 to the data switch located in the basement so like now uh, you are getting the uh, idea that how this is connected now as you can see here this is DGP8 dash this contains Excel web controller and DGP8 is its slave panel so this data switch is installed in this room uh, from where we are taking the fiber optic you know this fiber because this uh, uh, DDC is located far from the data switch uh, which is more than 90 meters so we took one fiber optic from the uh, from this DGP uh, to the main data switch in the basement similar is the case for the DGP 9 from where we are taking the fiber optic and here is the information of about, about all the equipments connected to this DGPs then we have DGP10 which is uh, uh, only the uh, master panel, it, it doesn't have any slave panel and a similar DGP7 which has DDC controller and master panel and then we have DGP11. So this is now you have the idea that what riser information, uh, what information a riser diagram provides. You can know that how DGPs are connected with each other and what equipment is connected there and what are the locations of this DGPs. So once you go through this document, you will have the complete information about uh, your system and how it is installed and like you will have a big, big picture. Uh, and for further information, like you can go through the IO lists and schematic diagrams, which I discussed in my previous video. So. Here, uh, here is the information about the floors, third floor, part A, fourth floor, part C. So now let us go to the other building. This was the main building only. And now here we have some additional buildings. Like for example, this is the electric building one where we had these electric uh, panels installed. We are only monitoring the split, stata, split unit status, transformer status and exhaust fan status. And as you can see here, it is the master panel from here one CAT6 cable is going to the data switch. And then we have a slave panel for this one DGP16 and then other slave panel DGP12 where we are, we are communicating through the panel bus. And then we have a mechanical building. Uh, here in this building we had chillers installed, then primary pumps, secondary pumps and split units. So this is also a master panel. Um, uh, I forget to mention here Excel Web 2 but this is a master panel and we have one CAT6 cable going to the main data switch and similar is the case for DGP 14. So guys, I hope now you understand what is a riser diagram and how to read this riser diagram and 
uh, as your and I hope you can also build one of the riser diagram for your project after watching this video. So if you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for my next videos.